Welcome back Share Bears. Today's video is my Ipsy March review and my Ipsy unboxing for April. I know this is late but what can you do? So we'll get right into this. This was the March review and this is pretty as pretty does. First thing was a brush and I have used this brush. You can see the dust coming off of it. And it was by Scone and it is a blending brush. I really liked it. I always enjoy getting brushes in my subscription bags even though I do buy lots of brushes for myself. It's always nice to get another one in a bag. The next thing in here is a coconut milk pure mild cleanser from Neogen. I did use this once and I did like it. It has a nice fresh scent but not overpowering and it did make my skin feel really moisturized. My biggest problem with it is it does not remove makeup so I had to use this and then use my regular cleanser over it to get off all the makeup that was on my face. My only issue with it but it is a mild cleanser so it's not surprising. Next in here I have a Dirty Little Secrets blush and I did like this blush. Um, I don't know that it is the longest wearing blush in the world but it is a very nice neutral color. Um, it lasted my eight hour day at work but if I had to go for longer shifts or anything I probably wouldn't reach for it. But it was pretty good and I'll use it up. Probably won't repurchase but I will use it up. The next thing in here is a lar uh, a lardis. A Tardis lip paint but I don't think it says what it is. Oh rosé. It's rosé and I do like this. It's a Tardis lip paint. Come on. Mm -hmm. Just apply a little bit more and go about our business. It's Tardis. I love them. Nothing more to be said there. The last item, I was actually really excited to try this. And this is the Cella Eyebrow ivory face highlighter and I think it's for your brows but that's what I used it for. I used it under my brow bone and it is nice but it kind of feels waxy like it gave a nice effect but it was really really waxy so I don't know if I would go and buy another one but I will continue to use this and use it up so all in all I would say that last month's Ipsy bag was knock out of the park besides the cleanser not being cleansing enough the rest of it was pretty good and for ten dollars a month how can you go wrong like with that so this was Gabrielle Zamora, I think, and I'm not sure who the other one is. Anyway, this was the card in its sideshow. First item in here is an Ofra blush, and it's Rendezvous. And I did swatch this, and when I first looked at it, I'm like, man, that is really dark. But... 
it's not so bad. Like Once you blend it out, it's not so bad. So this is a pretty good item in here. I'm not sure what Ofra blushes go for, but Ofra is usually a fairly pricey product. So the next thing in here is a Hikari Cream Pigment. Now, this is where I get into issues. I can't even open this stupid thing. It is in Honeydew. And I can't even open this stupid thing. So I'm definitely going to have to take this out of here in order to use it properly. It is a pressed pigment. It's creamy. It reminds me of ColourPop. And it is beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. I will have to try it out and see if it lasts long. My biggest issue is the packaging on it. But I think I'll probably just take it out and stick it in a Z palette because this is hard to open. The plastic is very hard to open, especially if you have nails. You'd think it'd be the opposite, but no. The next thing in here is Hannah Lee Soothing Aloe Gel for face and body. And it's just a little tube. I have not opened this to see how it smells, but okay. Here's the thing. Most times when I'm putting on a gel, an aloe, I'm putting it on because I've reacted to something or I have a sunburn and I don't, I'm hoping that none of these things make me react that I need to use this, but it is just a clear gel. I like the smell of it. It's very fresh smelling. And I can tell you from the feel of this that I will like this aloe gel more than some of the other aloe gels I've had because it's not sticky. I've had some aloe gels that are like really, really sticky and I'm like, I don't know, do I want to suffer with the sunburn more or, but you know, I think I'm going to try this. I am having issues on my fingers drying out here. So I think I might try this on there instead of using my Apple Care, which is a little bit expensive and I have to order it. So maybe I'll use this and see if it works. The next thing in here is Hey Honey Besame Mucho Shea Butter and Propolis Lip Balm for dry and chapped lips. Right now I don't have dry and chapped lips, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like this, but okay. It's very thick. It looks like almost like a Vaseline like it is very thick and it feels quite waxy I don't know if I'm smelling it or if I'm smelling the aloe <laughs> so I'll try it but right now okay the last thing things that people get excited about in these by the way, here's the bag. I actually think it's quite adorable, but I know some people didn't, but I, you can't please everybody. A lot of people get excited about like the Ofra or the ColourPop. We got a ColourPop gel liner. This is the second time I have gotten a ColourPop gel liner in the bag, and I have it already. <laughs> 
This is unfortunate. This is in DTLA. I am not going to open this. I actually am going to throw it into my bag for a giveaway. Once I reach 500, there will be a giveaway. But I'm not going to announce it in the video. It's going to be for my subscribers. So here is mine of DTLA. And it is a beautiful navy blue color. I actually own this in both the stick and in the pot. So it's a great eyeliner. I just, I don't have need for a second one. But hey, I'll throw it into a giveaway. I can already tell you the review on this is good. So that was everything in this Ipsy review and unboxing. I leave a link in my description box down below. I do receive credit if you use it. If not, if you wish to sign up for Ipsy, you can go to them. I believe this would be for Canada only for this one, but I may be wrong. I'm not saying you have to use it. Just look up Ipsy and you can find the subscription for it. It is $10 a month, which isn't bad. And I think it's like... BoxyCharm is 21 bucks a month, but if you get a longer subscription, it's less. So if you sign up for more months, then you pay less per box. So that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this review and unboxing, and I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Bye for now.